Okay, I'm just going to show you some very, very quick annotation options you've got in PRISM to make your uh, graphs look interesting and try and explain the data better. Um, th this is another set of made-up data. Uh, we're looking at two conditions, a control and an intervention. Uh, we've got a result uh, and something's happening while we're intervening. Something's going up and coming down again. And we've got time across the uh, x-axis. Uh, control being the filled squares and the intervention being the open circles. Um, doesn't matter what this intervention is, but let's just say it started at time 10 seconds and finished at time 40 seconds. And we want to be able to indicate that on this graph. Um, Prism has a, a fair few annotation options, and they're in the drawing tool. You've got a drop down box here where you can choose to draw circles or arrows or lines or capped lines or boxes. So for instance you could just draw an arrow, you could align the arrow up with the 10 and you could draw it so it's coming down to the 10 and then using your cursor you can move it up and you might want to say that's the start of the intervention so you could just type here. You can the typing tool And then you might put an arrow, another arrow in at the top here, indicating the end of the intervention. You know, and for some purposes, that would suffice. You've clearly shown there's a start and an end to the intervention, and that would all fit quite nicely in um, with the graph you're trying to plot. However, you might find that's a little bit annoying, so we can get rid of those. We could put a bar across the top that indicates that this is the start and the end. So, for instance, you can drop down here and choose this little capped line, and you can start it at 10, finish it at 40. If you double click on this capped line, you can choose so that the lines point downwards and it's a thinner. And you could put on this, and you could type in here what was this? This might have been an infusion of something. So, we can click on infusion, drop him in the right place make them a bit smaller and for the point purposes of your study that may uh, be quite useful that's another option a third option is you could do a shaded box so we could choose rectangle and you can draw your rectangle from 10 across to 40 and then up to the top just for the sake of argument there we are double click on a rectangle get rid of the border and make it such so slightly gray maybe press OK. Um, it's in front of everything which is a little bit annoying so we can click on the arrange button here and go send to back and now you've got a little grey splodge in the background and you could type in here that this was your infusion or you could indicate in your legend that that was the infusion time. Equally you could make your rectangle just cover the top of your graph and indicate that that was your infusion or you can drag down your x-axis and drag down your infusion so your infusion mark goes there. It's up to you. Um, it does help having properly annotated graphs. Um, you could write in your legend infusion started at 10 and ended at 40 seconds but it's quite nice to have a um, an annotated written piece of uh, graphic or text on your graph just to give you a really good idea of what's going on. You could also probably afford, when you've got this kind of thing on here, to either remove your control and intervention and just refer to them as filled and open circles in your legend. So that's just a very simple uh, case of how you can annotate uh, a graph just using some of the graph drawing tools that come with PRISM.